I don't want to say something bad about your mom. My mother died too. I mean, I didn't want to hurt you with anything like that. I was angry at you. It just came out in anger. You know that. I know. I won't hurt you with your mother and father again. I'm just telling you that. Well, thank you. Come on, we need to let him get some rest, all right? <laughs> May Allah bless you now, my son. Varal, please stay. <clears throat> Won't you talk to me, Salim? There's nothing to say. You only wanted to punish me. You could have died. Living without you is like death to me, Meltem. So it doesn't matter at all. Salim. Rather than being crushed in a big lie, even the person you love the most doesn't believe if she believes in other people's words and not yours. If I made a mistake which you couldn't accept, would you forgive me? I didn't make a mistake. You want to believe that I made a mistake. I'm asking you a question. Put yourself in my place. If someone called you and said this, what would you do? I'd say, are you out of your mind? And I'd say, who are you, you freak? You can't say this when there are too many news stories and incidents all over the place. Okay, let it go. <gasps> now, Tom, it's not a good time to talk. Let's let him rest, okay? <sighs> it's uh, not right for me to go through this the very first day of my you marriage. You wanted it. Come on, please, come on now. <sighs> I'm amazed. Even I believed it. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. My wound hurts. <laughs> you need to take your medicine. Okay, I'll go take it now. He told us that this job wouldn't be too hard. Now they're making him work right through the holiday. I'm telling you, I thought this day would never end. Everything is all messed up because our noble boy has a stomach wound. Shh, shame on you. Isn't Tilmiye coming? No, they're still here. Mr. Erdogan just arrived. They're all there. Then Mustafa has come back too? He wasn't there. Mr. Rasad's driver brought them back.
Rose. But I think that perhaps we should...